The Cornelius Ryan Book Award is sponsored by the friends of Richard Threlkel. The citation goes to Barbie Nadeau and One World Publications for Roadmap to Hell, Sex, Drugs, and Guns on the Mafia Coast. The award goes to Rania Abuzad of W.W. Norton and Company for No Turning Back, Life, Loss, and Hope in Wartime Syria. A fluent Arabic speaker, Abu Zad, details Syria's tragic descent from the optimism of the first peaceful democratic uprisings in 2011 to the sectarian slaughter of civilians and brutal and misguided foreign interventions. She spares nothing in describing the appalling torture and endless mass killing of civilians by the Assad regime. But her use of personal narratives and her fluid writing never let us tr uh, lose track of the humanity of the Syrians who are suffering on all sides. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the OPC. I am deeply honored to receive this award. I was in Syria back in early 2011, and I witnessed the first protests. And I stuck with this story ever since, sneaking into various parts of the country so many times over so many years that I lost count. But I didn't report this story with the view to ever writing a book about it. I'd already lived it once very intensely, and I didn't intend to relive it in book form. But two things changed my mind. The first was when the United Nations said that it had stopped counting Syria's dead. And suddenly Syrians, like so many people around the world, often nameless, reduced to casualty figures, weren't even numbers. And the second thing was the refugee exodus from Syria and the Middle East uh, toward Europe. And by the way, the uh, refugee crisis is not in Europe, it's in Syria's neighboring states. But after an initial welcome, we saw the rise of the right, the calls to close borders and to turn desperate people back, not unlike some of the conversation that we're seeing in this country as well. And I figured, do these people who are complaining have any idea about the hell that these refugees are fleeing? Do they really think that parents would put their kids in rubber dinghies, risking their lives knowing that they might drown for a welfare check? So I wrote a book about Syria because I wanted to take readers there. I wanted them to see what Syrians saw and to live something of what Syrians lived, if only on the page, to understand their experience while also untangling and investigating some of the backroom dealings that helped shape the conflict. Because history is about people. Nobody's nameless. No person is just a number. And absolutely nobody is voiceless. We just need to listen. I'd like to thank my publisher, Norton, uh, especially uh, Tom Mayer and Carl Radler for helping make this book a thing, and my agent, Robert Gunsler. And most of all, I would like to end by thanking the many hundreds of Syrians who over the years shared with me their stories, their lives, their homes, their bases. I am humbled by their generosity, by their sacrifice, their incredible resilience, their humor, even and perhaps especially in the darkest times, but most of all, by their hopeful determination to live and not just survive. Thank you very much.